to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, have you ever been or wanted to go to Dubai? Um, I have never been nor wanted to go to Dubai, though I hear many, many, many the beautiful things happening? about it. I hear a lot of things about it. I hear it is the city of excess. Yes. It is just like, oh, just stupid stupid things yes but apparently they're very uh accommodating to Americans. all levels no all levels of workers out there um and they're very accommodating to tourists okay that's what i hear i mean it's basically it was like built in the thing to be a tourist mecca probably yeah yeah i, I kind of feel that like living there seems kind of insane, but you know, I, I I feel like people live in like opulent cities now. Like if you look at uh, Las Vegas, it's one of those cities where I don't know if you you, you live there, you're either like rich or you're broke. I mean, uh, <laughs> Austin's kind of like that too. Yeah, Austin. Austin's uh, a popular enough city. People are like I'm moving to Austin. Why? Because yeah. it's Austin, baby. Yeah. Like, bro, yeah. it's not. I mean, I love it here, but I would never tell anybody because it's Austin, dog. Yeah, I mean. I would hope you would never say Austin dog. <laughs> uh, you know, and LA is like that too. But uh, I what, what see else? Celebrities at Starbucks. Yeah. I want to go to the mall and see Ben Affleck. I mean, you're guaranteed to send, see celebrities in uh, in Dubai because they they all go there. Yeah. They love it there. What do you got about Dubai though? So there was a there was a couple, mm -hmm. and uh, they they were affluent, and they I think they this happened in India. Mm -hmm. A uh, woman mm -hmm. wanted for her birthday a simple trip to Dubai. Nice. She wanted nice things. Did she get to go? No. No? I, she, her short. husband did not agree to take her to Dubai because, I don't know, he didn't feel she was worth it. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. What do you mean? I don't know why. The why is not okay. important. Okay, all it, right. Get it to the turned point. Turned into a domestic violence the domestic what? violence situation. They got into a this? they got into a physical altercation. Why did this change so fast? Because <laughs> she wanted to go to Dubai. Okay. And, and like I believe from the story she was the aggressor about it. Okay. She ended up punching him uh -huh. in the nose uh -huh. and fucking killed him. Oh, dude, she did the the, uh, the Bruce the nose, Lee thing. Nose brain. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't see a picture of her, but I was like, you need a lot of power to drive someone's nose into their brain. No, nah, she murdered they, him. They don't let fat fat That's, people in Dubai, so I don't think you have to worry about what? that. I said they don't let fat people oh, shit, in Dubai. Why go? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know you were fat, but you you probably you probably make it. Um, <laughs> probably, you probably make it in. Yeah, I, I don't know what Dubai had to do about that, but that's... <laughs> Dubai had nothing to do with that story. They, they Man, wanted this, to go to Dubai. This is domestic... <laughs> they wanted to go to Dubai. Okay, I mean, fair hey, enough. I mean, you're not... It was just some lady that killed a guy by punching him in the face. Do I don't know. Do you feel badass or, like, bad for that? I mean, I'm sure she regrets murdering her husband. Yeah. She probably feels like a real a-hole. Yeah, that's probably not like, something you want to do. I mean, do. I'd feel bad if I ever hit my partner. And then, let alone if I hit my partner and murdered them. Yeah, women get to hit, though, for some reason. They just get to, you know, how can she slap? They get to slap. They get I to think she did more than slap with this, though. Yeah, I mean, I get you, but she, I'm like, saying is that. She, like, right into his nose bone. I'm saying is that women, you know, how can she slap? They get to slap and not feel bad about it, right? Generally. Generally. And then, like, you know, you slap a little too much and you end up killing the guy. That's not good, but. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. You I said you would feel bad hitting women don't necessarily. I would that. feel bad hitting anyone. I, I don't know. My if that... raw power is so strong. I would just, I would maim wow. them for life. I'm not sure if I'm going to just go ahead and co-sign that one. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I don't know. I think this is, honestly, this is should be a wake-up call to all women who feel like this young lady who feel like hitting your significant other is is the right thing to do. Anyone who feels like they aren't getting what they want for their birthday should not assault their partner. <laughs> well, we don't know really what happened in the argument. It could have started with a Dubai and then it could have been like you're you're messing with that slut Lisa. I don't know. We don't know what really happened. All we know is that at some point in time, she said, I'm going to punch you in the face, and she killed this man. I don't think she said it, 
I think her intent, we talked about intent yesterday. Her intent was to scare him. Uh, yeah, duh. So should you, th should your motive be to scare your partner? That's why it's involuntary. That's probably why she got involuntary she manslaughter. She probably got murder. No, you got to prove that they wanted to kill the person. She didn't want to kill him. She just wanted to punch the him in the face. The judge is going to be like, and he wouldn't take you to Dubai? She's like, no, your <laughs> honor. I don't and, think the judge gives a fuck about Dubai when it comes to a murder he's like, case. You didn't want to go. He didn't want to take you to Dubai. Not guilty. <laughs> I think he's going to be like, why'd you kill this man? I didn't mean to. Okay. So what about Dubai? <gasps> oh, no. She's like, I would have stabbed him if he would have gave me 10 more minutes, but he died from my punches. <laughs> he, you caught me. I really wanted to go to Dubai and he wouldn't take me. So I killed him. <laughs> But you're not going to Dubai now. I know it was a bad plan. She's like, I got all of his money. Now I'm going. Duh. Then she, she gets the manslaughter. I don't think she tried to hide it, though. She seems like the type that would have been like, oh, I'm going to call an ambulance because my husband's choking on his nose. That's really unfortunate, man. Choking on his nose. It, I know. It sucks. That sounds awful. It's a terrible thing. You know, it's, it's really crazy, Jones, that like nine times out of ten, it really is the person closest to you, you know? Yeah. Like, if you look at the numbers, like, it's always the husband or it's always the wife. It, it really brother, is. The brother, the jealous lover. Yeah, man. The co worker. It's, it's so crazy that you can't even trust the ones you, you live with. The incel down the street. The incel down the street. Did I ever tell you the, 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 I think the funniest Venn diagram I've ever seen in my life? It was, it was so, it was, it was the two overlapping circles and then. One had Incel and one had Excel, like the the program for okay. the computer. And the overlap was incorrectly thinking it's a date. <laughs> and I was like, "That's pretty funny." I was like, "Wow, that's pretty." Somebody good. came up with that, and it wasn't me. I'm not even taking it. That's pretty good. <laughs> no, there's like meme centers like all over the place. You'd be AI surprised. memes. No, just like meme centers you know, where people just like come up with funny memes for for the gram. Uh, today I, I had, was looking through like some tab, like, do you keep like a million tabs open on your web browser on your phone? Yes, <laughs> like yes. there's just like a hundred tabs. Open. I, I actually just downsized this morning. But every so, so I was going yeah. through them today, some yeah. old ones. And I was like, oh crap, the AI photo generator that TNT showed me was on one of those. Yeah. And, uh, well, I can't remember what it was called. What's it called? Something go. Oh yeah. I don't remember. So anyways, so I typed in, uh, human finger monster. Mm -hmm. And the one of the most terrifying, <laughs> just like this ominous black thing with like these human fingers. Like, what are we? Why? What? What made you uh, get back in? Because the art, man. because I was closing out tabs and I opened it up. Go to like go to it right now and, and type not, it in. I'm not doing that right now. No, we're doing a podcast. So. Oh I, well, you could show some. You should show. You could show some funny. I don't remember any of the stuff. Oh yeah, I don't either. But uh. It was very uh, terrifying. I mean, there's some terrifying stuff when it comes to that. Yeah. So you can you make some pretty terrifying stuff. Yeah. What did I type? Human finger monster. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. What is the most terrifying thing you've ever created on AI art? <laughs> I don't really go for terrifying. <laughs> What's don't... the coolest thing you've ever I, seen? Honestly, I like going. I like the AI art because I look for stuff like, uh, what do you call it? I look for stuff to put on shirts. I actually have a couple of AI art. AI generated uh, art shirts that have come in. I have one that's a, a Steve Urkel, but he's got like a, it's coming. You ordered it? Yeah, I got a Steve Urkel shirt coming. Um, and he has like a gold grill, and he has like a bunch of like wrapper rings and and, and chains on, and he's standing like it. It looks like Philly, but uh, yeah, yeah. This got to say nothing. It's a Steve Urkel with like he's sitting on like a like a Dodge Charger and he's you know he got some some rings on he's it. all blinged out yeah super, oh, that's it's, cool. it's really cool and then I have another one that I got for Christmas where it's like Harley Quinn sitting on Santa's lap and then there's like a, another Harley Quinn next to it but it's like the young version of Harley Quinn it's very it's very kind of like risque it's, no it's not risque at all I mean Harley Quinn's dressed in like the classic Harley Quinn skin so oh kinda gotcha like, you know yeah I don't know I like I like AI art it's weird. <laughs> that that AI McDonald's commercial you put on last week was wild. I remember. Go back and watch one of the podcasts. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got to go back in time to see it. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.